We got started with the Yonkers Basics through Dr. Casada, our superintendent of schools. And Dr. Casada wanted to capture our younger students because uh, Yonkers Basics is milestone one of my brother's keeper. Children enter school ready to learn. Yonkers Basics is an incredible um, opportunity uh, that we brought to Yonkers um, so that we address milestone number one um, within my brother's keeper. And milestone number one is ensuring that uh, young people are ready to enter school. Yes, go, 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 go. Good job. In the next few years, we see Yonkers Basics being in the entire community, right? So everybody, regardless of where you are, whether you're in the barbershop, whether you're in the beauty parlor, whether you're out uh, just for a casual day, you will, um, you know, like talk, sing point you will read and discuss stories you will maximize love you will manage stress Yonkers is a very unique city uh, first of all I think there's a lot of collaboration and a lot of community advantages in Yonkers and we certainly have an awful lot of children and uh, we have a, a growing uh, young population who are parenting and so I think that Yonkers being the fourth largest city in the state of New York was a good choice llama llama red pajama thump 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 <laughs> I could definitely see Yonkers Basics evolving over the next few years with definitely more exposure, more saturation into our community, more saturation into our schools. Even though it's really a birth to 36 month program, all these basics really work, you know, K all through elementary school. And uh, parents need to know that how important though these skills are and that they're really setting the foundation. When we look at it, interactions between young children and families, um, the basics capture the essence of the, the interactions and, and the essential elements of what we want to see in developmentally appropriate, responsive, respectful, healthy, sustaining relationships that support children in their growth and development, which will lead to academic success. Since I've been involved with the Yonkers Basic, I've learned myself to watch children at play more distinctly. So when I watch them at play, I look to see, do they have any fears? Do they interact socially? Are they verbal? Are they verbal? Do they explore? So even from that, ju just from that little uh, uh, pillar to watch children at play, uh, I've become a little bit more interested in seeing the development of the child. We have just been working diligently to raise the awareness of the community about the basics. We've had a mural painted at the corner of South Broadway and Radford Street, and it's in these bright primary colors, which are really um, evocative of children between the ages of zero to three. Uh, we used a local artist because we really believe in promoting uh, our local art and our local community. Yonkers Basics commissioned me to do a phenomenal mural on Radford Street and South Broadway. Um, they wanted to, the, to emphasize the basic pillars of Yonkers Basics, and they gave me the opportunity to create a 50-foot by 15-foot mural um, that now stands in a prominent place in, in Yonkers. When I can create, bring colors together um, and bring words and letters and images together, what it creates is a learning experience just from the observation. Yonkers Basics has become such a good program for this district because so many of the children live within the neighborhood of this neighborhood business district and the families do their lives here. We have over 35 uh, barbers and beauty shops. We have more than six large laundromats. We think that there are so many parents and caregivers and families that can use the information from the basics that it will be going on for a long time. We expect that all of our community members will be using Yonkers Basics and better yet that we will notice our kids who are coming into pre-K and K they are uh, more ready to learn and more socially and emotionally uh, developed. Why my brother's keeper? Well, the data um, are very clear. Our young men of color are not graduating from high school on time. They, they are not 
being successful in college and many of them end up in incarcerated. If America is to be successful, uh, changing um, that trend is a must. I do this work because my heart tells me that I have to do this work and secondly because the data um, supports the fact that, that we need to change course.